Aloha, it's me Dashima and welcome. I'm so happy and excited to share with you this powerful practice that can dramatically transform your health and your life. So obviously, the healthier you are, the potentially happier you can be. And they do say that health is wealth. And so if you're feeling not well, of course, in terms of your health, it's very hard to be happy. It doesn't matter how much money you have or how many things or whatever you have going on around you if you're not feeling well inside. So this Kriya, it's known as Sudachan Chakra Kriya and it's actually potentially one of the most powerful Kriyas in the world. And the Kriya is an energy practice that transforms blocked energy and dissolves blocked energy so that it can liberate you from the inside out. So it's like a form of alchemy, you know, it's like putting a paper in fire can become ashes. And so through the practice of this, you'll start to feel an elevation of your energy, a release of blocked energies, and an overall enhancement of your total well-being. So I hope you practice along with me. We're just going to do five minutes today. You could do this longer though. You could do 11 minutes or even longer than that, 22 minutes. But we'll try for five and see how it goes. This is a combination between alternate nostril breathing, so it's going to balance your left and your right brain hemisphere, as well as root chakra, uh, mula bandha. So mula bandha is when you engage your energy lock at the perineum. So it's like if you have to go pee and you pull it in and up and then hold that. So you have mula bandha is engaged the whole time and then you're doing alternate nostril breathing, which I'll explain in a second. And at the same time, the stomach pumping. So it's in, 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 three times in and up, in and up. You're pulling your navel in to the back of your spine and then up towards the sky, in, in, in. So it's raising the kundalini, raising the energy up out of the root chakra. It's shifting energy that may be stuck in your gut or in your reproductive organs. This could be very healing and transformational if you have any reproductive issues or even health concerns in any of your organs in your gut or your lower belly, your intestines, even improves digestion, can improve every kind of thing. So the next part of it is what you're doing with your mind, which is very important. So during the practice, in your mind, you're repeating a mantra. Now you could use the mantra that is traditionally used with this, which is called Sat Nam, Sat Nam. So Sat Nam is kind of like, you know, in the name of truth, or just, you know, really the power of truth over and over inside, bringing truth into you and helps to dissolve anything that is not truth. But you could also go with a different mantra if you're working with different mantras like love, love, love. You could do whatever resonates most with you. So. Let's do this. You're going to have your eyes closed. I may open mine from time to time just to stay connected to you. And focus your awareness either at the third eye, the heart center, or you could be down at your gut. But just really putting your intention on one focal point as you move through the practice. We'll do this together for five minutes. And at the end, I'll, I'll continue to share a little bit more and we'll have an experience in, in uh, sharing. I'll be happy to hear about your experience if you want to post that in the comments below. Okay, let's get started. So Mula Bandha engaged, spine long. If you want to sit on a cushion or you could be in a chair if you want, but it's nice to have the knees, uh, the legs in a comfortable position like this. And if you elevate your hips, it will prevent you from feeling too much pain in the hips if you have tight hips. Spine is straight, crown of the head lifted. Left hand is going to rest on your left knee. With the right hand, bend the index and the middle finger. You're going to use the pinky and the ring finger. Block your left nostril. Inhale the right side. As much as you can bring in, as much air as you can inhale. And then hold. And we're going to hold 30 seconds and three pumps. So it's in your mind. Satnam, or you can do Wahe Guru, or any mantra that goes with you.
Now exhale out of the left. Inhale left. Retain the breath. Pump and mantra and bandha. And exhale out of the right. Inhale the right. Retain. Exhale left, inhale left, retain, Exhale right, inhale right. Exhale left, inhale left. Exhale right, last round, inhale right. And slowly release. <laughs> so after this practice, generally you just sit with your eyes closed and meditate for a little while. Feel the energy moving throughout your body and the elevated, expansive heart chakra opening that it provides. With all the breath holds, it really unblocks the heart as well. And it heals a lot of things in the lower chakras, in the gut especially. So if you have any digestive issues, like I mentioned, then this can really help you in so many ways. So I hope that you follow along with this practice on a regular basis and that it serves you well for your life and for your health and for your healing. If you know anybody that this can benefit, feel free to share and let them know because there are ways that you can heal yourself naturally from the inside out 
and energy is the medicine of the universe. And so what better medicine than to try to go and get something like a pill that's only going to mask the symptoms but never really heal you deeply and completely. So what you want to do if you ever feel out of balance or unwell is to go into the core and the depth of that experience and truly seek the truth and the root of that disconnection or the imbalance that you're experiencing. Because any sickness and disease is always rooted in something that's far deeper than you probably are aware of to begin with. So perhaps you're thinking, oh, it was something that I ate. But the truth is, all symptoms are just a message that something is out of balance. But the out of balance may just be something simple if it's a very light symptom. But if it's something that's recurring or chronic, it may be something that's much deeper than even you could possibly be aware of. And in order to heal that on the deepest core level, there's no pill for that. You have to do the work. And the work is to go into your depth of your soul and through these types of practices like kriyas, mantras, meditations, and the vibrational sound healing and everything that I'm sharing about, you can transform and heal yourself from the inside out. And it's miraculous because the healing can be permanent instead of just masking the symptoms like what most modern Western medicine and prescription drugs are attempting to do. So I highly encourage you to go into the depth, do the work, have the discipline, and you will transform yourself from the inside out. And that is a miraculous endeavor, very worthwhile. And I highly, highly encourage you to embark upon that journey. Be consistent with it because it's the consistency that's going to produce the results. So proud of you. Thank you for joining me today. Have a beautiful, miraculous, and blessed day. Satnam and Namaste.